Manji says pack up. Man says go on about this city years. I'm actually I'm not mad. No, excuse me. No, no, I can't. No, that's not for that. How do you know I have the money? I, I, what if Nami? What if Nami? What if I also should have the money? What if Nami beg beg Sasha and Anisa? Now let's say you don't want it. Say what's your price? Uh huh. Just to back it up. Alrighty guys, so as I've already told you, I will be working with RPG Show on this video. Today they've sent me some beautiful hair. I'm going to unbox it with you guys so you guys can see. I have already taken this out of its little dusty situation because obviously I needed to try out the hair first. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful chocolate brown color. It is an HD lace and then it is the whole 13 by 4 frontal very 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 beautiful i did also guys not cut my duster bag this time so i can actually use it i'm actually up right now <laughs> then they also sent me two piece of the wig caps then they also again sent me this nice little information card with all the information on the hair um no i'm lying no no it does have all the information about the hair it says this is this wig is called Wigs by Charisse 014. It is a silky texture, 20 inches. Um, it's a chocolate brown um, color. It's a glueless lace front cap, 200% density, and it's a tinted transparent Swiss lace. And then lastly, we have our little wig bag so we can, you know, put our wigs in here when we are trying to store them. So I'm gonna get straight into the video, guys. I'm gonna start off by installing the hair so you guys will first be able to watch that because as you guys know, I will not be able to talk over the hair dryer and then we'll get into the talking part. styling my hair i've installed the hair it literally melts so beautifully into the scalp literally what lace i don't even know <laughs> anyways guys the topic for today as you guys can see by the title is going to be friendships i just had my birthday and you guys watched all my little birthday vlogs and a lot of you guys were like you guys would like my prayer <laughs> Anyways, um, so I decided that today's video is going to be about friendships and who better to bring on a video about friendship than my bestie, Balinkize. So Bali and I are going to be answering some questions that you guys had. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram, as per usual, to send me some questions that you guys have to do with friendship or just any topics that you guys might have um, to do with it so that we can answer for you guys and give you guys some insight into our friendship and just friendshiping in general so we're gonna start light and we're gonna do this while i'm curling and styling this hair from rpg show the first one that we're gonna start with is how to open up 
and to maintain godly friendships. Take it away, buddy. <laughs> I was actually gonna say you take it. Um, how to open up? It mustn't be like the super serious thing. Like you guys should just chat, be like chatting and everything flows with you guys. I don't know how to explain it. There's no set formula. You just meet your person and things just flow. I think so and I also was gonna say understanding is super important. Yeah. Like understanding how the other person communicates because it's fine and well you wanna communicate with someone, but if you don't communicate in a way that they reciprocate there's literally nothing that's going to get heard by yeah. either one of you and it's very important to choose people like who are empathetic like look at a person's qualities like what is their personality like i mean you're never going to get what you need from someone if they're not a person that you feel like you like so mm -hmm. make sure that it's someone that you like and someone that who likes you back and you guys just flow from it and then maintaining the friendship what do you think helps to maintain a friendship? And a godly friendship at that. Yo. Because they said, they didn't just say friendship, they said godly friendship. You know, sometimes so a friendship with God inside it. Both of you, first of all, need to love God. Yeah. Uh, you need to be passionate that's about a, God. That's a minimum. Yeah, that at a minimum, be passionate about God. And ma maintenance comes from both sides. Both of you need to be willing to put in the work, not just one person. And I also think a big thing to note is like, I feel like a lot of the times, girl friendships, they, people don't understand that the same way that you make time for a person that you're in a relationship with, a romantic yeah. relationship with, you want to make time for them mm -hmm. you have to put in that same effort as it pertains to your friends like don't just know that effort when it comes to romance mm -hmm. know that same effort when it comes to your friends is it because i i just feel like sometimes people will be there doing the most for their men but you know you haven't spoken to your friend in like six months <laughs> and you and then when it's time for your birthday it's like hey it's my birthday hey, like let's, oh it's like sweetie <laughs> I who are you? <laughs> who, who, what do you mean? Where do you come what are you? <laughs> so I think that is really important to note as well. Like you just need, need, need to put in the effort. How do you feel like is a good way to initiate friendships? Now that like you know people are a little bit older in your twenties, varsity's done. Like how do you? What do you think is a good way to initiate? Like I, shoot your friendship shot, basically. I have no idea because <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm putting on you guys. All of my friendships, I didn't go into it trying to get a friendship out of it. It just happened organically. Like you meet Tumundu, you click. Yeah. You get to know each other. The vibes are boring. Both of you enjoy the same things. Next thing, you're spending a lot of time together. You're on the phone for hours. You sharing stuff. You opening up to each other. You, you're showing up for each other. Next thing you guys are friends. So in terms of friendship shots, I've never... You've never shot one? I don't believe in shooting friendship shots. Hi, boy. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? I, I believe in organic friendships. I think for me personally. Same, but also um, I get it. Like, for example, if, somebody, if you're new in a place and like okay. you don't have any friends, like you need to at some stage initiate Ubunga. Honestly, for me, I just think um, being yourself is the best way to pull in somebody else's energy. And if that doesn't work, just literally be like, hi, do you want to hang out? Yeah. Be like, hey, I always see you around here. Do you want to chill? Yeah. Just don't overthink it. Just yeah, don't do what needs to be done. The next one says how to communicate to friends when you need your space or your alone time. Damn. <laughs> I saying yo damn yo how do you communicate that like if you are tired of me and you need your fucking space how do you say that I'll just go without home. offending the next person I'll just go home. I'll yeah go that's home. what I was saying you, you know what literally just go home yeah do you get what I'm saying but also like for example I feel like um we are people who pick up each other's energies yeah when you see what you eat, like. like i also don't think it's something i feel like maybe the problem that people have with friendships is that they are scared to communicate because if you're tired of being 
like around someone just be like oops i need like i just need space yeah i have a lost through i have a lost through i just need some time oh. yeah i just need some time where i just need to spend some time alone and just say it verbatim you don't even have to beat around the bush i need to go home yeah or oh, i need some space or whatever the case may be mm. just be open and just make sure that your friend like shouldn't feel like it's about them just be like i just need some space as a person it's not about you I just need my alone time. That's literally it. Someone says, how do you talk to your friend about your mental health? Like, how do you go about that? Uh, I, I will answer this one. Um, oh my goodness. I don't know, guys. Like, mental health is not like this egg that, you know, like... It's not like this thing where you have to be, like ashamed of or like you have to like oh my god oh she's gonna break i think it's very important to make, not make your friends feel like they can't address things with you or they can't call you out or they literally can't even joke with you because oh yeah Mali's gonna break so it's very important to say you know i'm still the same person we still can joke but sometimes i'm just gonna be really low and I might not know what I'll need then, but I just need you to be there. I think that's the most important thing. And the more you talk to your friend and the more you actually explain your mental health to your friend, they'll understand how to better handle you. So it goes back to communication. Always be open. Be umuto open. Like, don't hold some things and tell. You see the beauty of your friends knowing you like the back of your hand? You don't even have to say anything. They can just see in your facial expression. Good idea, color in mind. So honestly, that my best, the best advice I could give you is be extremely open with your friends because at the end of the day, your friends choose you. Like they chose to be there. Unlike yeah, family, they yeah. have to be there. They can literally leave, and, and they choose not. And to. they choose not to. So that's why I put friends as like a higher regard because your friends choose you every single day and that's not gonna change so your friends are literally the bag and i also think you. like um yeah it's all about again communication yeah you just need to say but listen this is what i'm going through mm -hmm. and even if your friends can't help you your friends just need to be there to direct you to the spaces or people that can yeah. help you or to just be there for you to go through what it is or whatever it is that you need really at that time I, again, I agree, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's mm -hmm. just something that you need to speak about and feel comfortable enough to be what. And if you feel like you're not comfortable enough, you're comfortable enough with your friends to speak about your mental health, reassess the friend group, baby. Because yeah, honestly. what does it mean to not be able to speak about the things that trouble you and the things that you're going through? Like you need to be able to have those conversations with your friends. The next one says um she'd like us to talk about losing friends and feeling like you're the problem do you get what i'm saying like when you lose a lot of friends and you yeah. ask yourself like damn am i the drama am i the drama <laughs> am i the drama i'll answer it i i was in a place where i've lost quite a lot of friends or we stopped being friends and stuff and in as much as you can feel hurt in that situation introspection is very important oh i agree because the friend that i am now and the friend i might have been before to those to them i'm not saying i was a terrible friend but it's definitely not now but that came from learning mm. from my friends now that how do i become better not mm. just for my friends but for myself as well so i think if you're losing a lot of friends whatever it is, introspect it's very and introspecting doesn't mean you're a horrible human being introspecting just means that you want to grow and you want to be better and you want to be better so i would say that sometimes you, sometimes are, the you are the problem sometimes you are the drama and that's not a bad thing necessarily but that doesn't mean it's a good thing either so but you need to but change it. also though there is there is also the scenario where you just had bad people in your life yes and that also is it's something that you also do need to introspect about and say like why have i why have i one allowed these people into my life obviously it's not your fault 
for them being bad people you can't blame yourself yeah, for that bro. but you have to blame yourself to why do you allow certain things but also you also have to understand that them leaving is a blessing like you yeah. don't have to be so it, it obviously is sad but if you know you're not the problem them leaving is a blessing and you'll be better off without them and you'll make new friends i 100 and thousand percent agree it's like guys take it in romantic relationships maybe your whole life you've just dated horrible men yeah. maybe that's your pattern yeah and yeah. then all of these men end up leaving whatever the case and leave you heartbroken doesn't necessarily mean you're the problem but yeah. you still need to introspect as to why, why every single time exactly so same same with friendship like you might not be the problem. Maybe these people are terrible, but they're terrible human beings. But why do you keep letting them into your life? Exactly. That's what you need to ask yourself and get to the root of, so that going forward in new friendships, you don't make those same mistakes. Exactly. Then you can you can attract people like you. What are your deal breakers with friends? Like, what are you just never going to tolerate? Yo. I've never had to think about that. That's crazy. I mean, I don't want friends who come to me with what other people are saying about me. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, don't do not do that. Yeah. Why have you... It's no, specifically like, if it's like, you're coming with news. Yes. Like, in the world, like, oh, so it's just said this mm. about you, nah, nah, nah. Because it's like, how did that come up? What was the environment? <laughs> and, what were you saying? And why were they so comfortable to, to say it around you? Know, around you, you yeah. nigga. It's a different situation. If zama, so this is what happened, and this is what I want to clear up, yeah. and this is the situation. Valid. Yeah. But when you know that, but all the time, it's like why, and it's like negative things are being said about me, and you're in the room. What are, What are you saying? What are, oh, What are you saying to defend yeah. me? Why is this person getting so far in the conversation? Mm. I need to because mm -hmm. I always say like people say like birds of a feather like don't flock together whatever the case is but I think that like just people who don't share the same morals as me fundamentally yeah. I can't do because you will clash in so many different areas of your life because fundamentally you guys just don't believe the same things mm -hmm. I agree and we share Konage sisters. And you know the thing is like people are always talking about like inher inheriting beef and whatever the case may be. I've been in many situations where maybe myself and someone don't get along, but maybe my my friend is still cordial with that person. But there's all that person is also very assertive in their position that this is still my friend. At the end of the day, we, yeah, we are, at the end of the day, you know where my loyalties lie. Like yeah. it mustn't be a confusion of yes, I can talk to you, whatever, but yeah, it's never going to be that. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, it's like we can be also cool. We are adults. We can have a conversation. We can engage. you know, Oguti. In as much as I expect you to do the same for your friends. Exactly. The next question is friendship breakups. Um, if it's in the public eye, do you feel like people need to disclose what happened in their friendships? You know what? I don't blame people for wanting to know what happened. I agree. Because, because even like when it comes to relationships, I mean, when people are dating, people, if you show, if you're feeding me your freaking relationship yeah. from Monday to Monday. When you stop feeding it to me, I'd like to know I'm not getting fed. Exactly. And that's valid. It's very valid. That's why I say, like, there's a problem with putting partners on social media because people gonna want you to keep feeding them that content. Exactly. It becomes less of, like, a, a private thing. Now it's you, your relationship yeah. is, 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 is for, up for public consumption. I would say with friendship breakups, especially... Friends. I just... Do you feel like it's the same as relationships? I don't feel like it's the same. No, it's not. Like, I just feel like you can see when people stop hanging out with like, people. It's, it's over. over. It's over. We're it's not together. We, and you know what? Like, you know when you're really over something, you're not going to want to even address it. Do you get what I'm saying? And also, I just expect people, if you if I'm not friends with someone, you can see I'm not person with them. Can see You can see we're not friends anymore. We don't interact with each other. We unfollow each other. All those things. Do you think I'm still that person's friend? No. No! You know I'm not. No. And if you think I'm going to tell you what happened... No, but also it's also not everything that you need to to to, no, to put on social media no. because also I'll say in our situation 
it's very clear and obvious what happened so i don't get why people keep asking the same shit but yeah i just feel like with friendship, I actually, I'm reverting to, I'm, I'm retracting what I said at the beginning. I don't feel like it's the same as a relationship in the sense that if you see me unfollow this person, nah, 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 that is obvious that we're not friends anymore. It's different with couples, because couples got channels. Yeah, you know? like, next thing, this is my love. I love you, baby. Wada, wada. <clears throat> Guys, this is my boyfriend. And with friendship, it's like, you just sort of see me popping up. Yeah, like, it's just like popping up like, here and there. You say, of thing. hey, buddy's here. Hey, hey, buddy, what's all that? I also be there. You see, that's the situation. Because I'm thinking, if we were to stop being friends, I'm going to make like a video. What, what, why me and buddy broke out? Like, no! I'm not doing that shit. Zaman, uh, uh, knock on wood. That shit is never happening. We're not going to stop being friends. I'm just saying, though, like, it would, would that really make sense? You guys would think it was weird, even. You guys would think that you, you think so I'm insane. Fixated, umumu. Yeah. And in both contexts, it's umumu, <laughs> umumu, you sour. Zulu and Tosa, umumu, both contexts. So, you know, in the public eye, you know what, you guys? I'm just an influence. No one really cares about my life, so. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Maybe this question directed to celebrities. I swear, yeah, because I'm like... You know. The next question is, how do you deal with having such a large group of friends? I think I have like, yeah, a little bit. It's large. How, how, how many people are at your birthday table? Yeah. 13. And mine, 5. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, but honestly, guys, and there were not five people at your birthday talking nonsense. It's just not there. There were not five of us. Okay, let's talk about Women's Day. But, there were people around the table. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of people. But I will say the hardest part about it is making time for everybody. Mm. That's the hardest part. Because you don't just want your friendship to end at me saying me and so-and-so are friends. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? You actually want to make an effort to actually build the relationship and when i say build like don't just keep it where it is build make it better stronger build each other type of thing and finding time for everyone is really hard considering like even when your own life is busy and like obviously maybe your friends will see you'll say you're busy then your friend sees you with another friend it's like dude but you said you can't do this but it's like how do you do it all like how do people actually do it all but i just think open communication is important yeah. um and just people understanding kind of where yeah, you are where yeah, you yeah. are where you are mentally work wise like if you're busy then i let people know so that people don't get shocked when it's like you just needed to go out this one time so you can get a breather not make it look like i actually just do what i hang out with you type of thing just communication but it is not gonna be easy i'll tell you that for free even having friends that don't live in joburg is hard yeah. worth it but hard I'll tell you that yeah. for free that's true, but I will say like in your friendship group, I can tell like it's a group of friends that are adults that have lives of Yeah, their own, but that's yeah, it really who helps. Who don't feel um how can I say it? There's a word I'm looking for. Everyone is understanding feel, of the fact that song is CP. And, and no and who don't feel threatened yes, by yes. other like a friendship with somebody else mm -hmm. they know their place in your life they know that they as equally important and also i feel like we have an open communication so if it's like dude you keep saying you're busy but i see you always hang out with so and so what i'm saying is that it goes back to understanding that friends are friendships are relationships and if you think about them like that you'll be more receptive to conversations where people tell you where they feel like they need attention or they feel like you're doing this or you feel like doing that when you start to think about it as a relate the relationship that it is yeah you'll be more receptive to those conversations and like won't gaslight your friend being like yeah, Bo. i agree and and i just to go back to how to keep friends and stuff a friend might tell you how they feel or how you made them feel or a situation where they were not happy even if you know that's not the case yeah. it's always important to acknowledge yes. their feelings exactly. and i think that's where people get it wrong it's like you want to be right so badly that now you're forgetting your friend's feelings exactly. like sometimes you know who to audience are with their own but oh you didn't come from a bad place didn't come from a bad place but you you can see how your friend feels so acknowledge it and yeah. say you know friend i hear what you're saying and it was never my intention to make you feel like a b c and d and this uh, moving forward i will make sure that whatever i do it's clear but this is where then you can say your piece 
But let me go to you, Mama. When you go there, do yeah. It's not. You so know, since where to behave? Like, don't gaslight your friends. Don't guess. Acknowledge your friends, even if you think it's stupid. You know that thing to say, "Ngiyabu, ngiyabu." I hear you, baby. Ngiyabu, I'm not sure, but ngiyabu, because there's gonna be things that are gonna accept you that might come across stupid to another person, but you're gonna expect that person to, to understand. understand. Exactly. So give them that same grace. Then mm-hmm. when you're gonna want them to understand, Alan won't understand. Exactly. Friendship is a lot. Is a lot of grace. And you know why? Also, all of these things that we're saying, ngiyazenza for my thought. Exactly. It's always like that. You do it so effortlessly for men, but when it comes to your friends, you're like, oh, she's whiling, she's doing this, whatever. Ooh, the no, same no, way, no. the same way that like you feel gaslit by men, you end up gaslighting your own mm. friend. That shit's dumb. And I see that a lot. People gaslight their friends. Next one says, friends. They want us to talk about friends that understand your financial situation or the season that you are in financially. Like, how do you go about communicating that to your friends? But Jonga. I don't even have to have a system. I just get me. I also don't get it's it goes back to people the thing that people lack the most in friendship is poor communication. Yeah, well, because how is this a thing, guys? And you know what to me for my mind. No, but you know what? Let's I'm gonna try and play devil's advocate and be like you know when you have friends that are in very different financial situations, Omunye Urich, Omunye is taking care of herself or like has to do everything herself or you know another one is like being funded by parents, whatever, and then you yourself, you know, maybe you're funding yourself and it's a bad math. You and they're not and your fr- like a person's just not understanding the fact that how like what do you mean you don't have money? Like what do you mean? By egg. I also think by egg. By egg. Honestly, because like, every single friend of mine, if I don't have money, I'm not mad. And that's the end of the conversation. And literally, again, remember when I used to say to you, money, not having money is not a reason to go out or something yeah, like that? Yeah. And I'm being dead ass. Like, for me and my friends, like, whether we have money or not, we're going to go out. Like, exactly. And I learned that, like, as well, because if I say, but I'm not going to tell you, like, Gabu in the middle of people. Says, oh, when we get there, we get there. I'll say, says, be like, Zama, please, oh, na, ella, un, kokele, maybe, oh, 50 percent, and so we say, yeah, 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 yeah. I just also don't like, like, don't do it when you get there. No, don't match, says, part of my sister, no, no, but now, 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 Ah. Imani can't be the reason ah, for our guys. Capitalism can Capitalism can't do this to us. No, they've already taken so much away from us. Ah. Okay, we'll be fine. Must be the last thing. It literally. Done. Be friends with people because they live on. Not because Buti Bao Bani, Banani, Bahamano Bani. Don't do that. Except because people for who they are. For who they are, because you're setting yourself up for failure. If you're gonna try to class your friends or your class, you can tell your class. Class, 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 I can tell you any tall again. I agree with you. Um, guys, people can sense that. They can see when you have fickle friendships. They'll break friendships up over stupid stuff. Next one says, Friends that are not as strong as you think. while I have combed my hair a little bit and the last question is 
was not a question it's sort of like a topic it's how do you deal with girls that turn mean or try to embarrass you in front of men you <laughs> Who like basically Choma is who like crowd. Your own friends. Yep. I don't know though. You've never had a friend where you guys were cool, big and then go bona my daughter now. No word valley. Like I can't believe you literally decided to wear that lipstick. Ew. Yo. Yo. I think I'm so passive aggressive. In like friendships, no, actually, I think in general. Yes, yeah, so would you say nothing? Like, what, and how do you deal with friends like that? Like friends who, who are never from Johnny Sangawa to make themselves seem like silly, goofy, funny, silly, goofy girls. I don't think I will call you out immediately because now they're like, oh, the girls are fighting. They yeah, something to be like, oh, girls, please relax, girls. Yo, and you know, I love that. I fucking hate that shit when men feel like they need to interview. <laughs> Guys, come on, come down, just relax. Yakuza, la la, la. I probably will address it later or not. Like I think my Do you think you wouldn't address that? I just cut you off. That used to be like my thing in the Damn. Past. One thing I about just... me, I would just be like, sweetie, why are you I would ask you in the moment, don't feel no gosh, but I wouldn't make it a scene. Like I wouldn't ask it loudly, but I'd be like, why Uchongi Sangam told me? And I probably wouldn't say it in like a serious way, I'll probably make it in a jokey way, but you'd feel that like we are the jongies and there's yeah, absolutely I would, no I, I think I would be like, hey, bro, like crowd. Yeah, like, why are you jongies? I don't want to be a you We left home, I was wearing this lipstick. What and now you're trying to act why, like it's shit because you're seeing niggas. Why when I'm at it now, we more like the lipstick show. No, show. literally, it would be that. I agree with you. Yeah, I, I would make it very like light on it, but you But must you get feel, the message. Yeah, you must feel sad. You must feel like, damn. yeah, like damn. Now I look like a fucking idiot. Like now I look like an asshole. And the, uh, me as well. I truly believe in. Sometimes you just need to embarrass people. If they're trying to embarrass you, you just need to embarrass them back. Ebay draw. Because you, what what we're not gonna do is sit here and laugh at me. I'm not gonna be the class clown so that you can feel good about yourself. That's not what. So what I'm gonna do is pop. You pay and you be Ted. <laughs> oh, we got person who show me like guys. No, yeah. Honestly, I'm not trying to be a bit. If you're trying to make a fool out of me just because I've you, there's a probably there's a guy you want, that's not about. That's and also, if that's the only him. yes, and I was gonna say if that is your tactic, you're from my daughter, so take the No, leave me. Actually, let's not even be friends. Like I'm okay with not being your friend. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much to RPG Show for sponsoring this hair. It is absolutely stunning as you guys can see. The body waves are body waving. I mean, it's giving exactly what it needed to give. So if you guys would like to purchase this hair, please do not forget to check out the description box below for all the information. Please don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys think about what me and Bali spoke about. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 70k now, and I feel like we can get there sooner rather than later. So definitely go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.